so it's been a while, but um, just back uh, with these afterwards videos, the heart behind them is to give you, you know, a little bit of my thoughts after teaching Sunday's message of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, Deliver Me from Temptation part one. Um, you know, I've just been thinking about temptation and there's a story uh, that I always think about of how an Eskimo catches a wolf. And, uh, you know, in this story, Satan is the Eskimo and you and I are the wolf. And what he does is he takes a knife and he puts it in the middle of, um, uh, of blood and uh, all these things. He freezes it and he puts it out in the middle of the snow. And the wolves, they smell the blood, they come, they start licking that blood on the outside. And eventually they get to the knife and their tongue touches the knife and begins to get cut by it. And the wolf doesn't even realize that it's, uh, it's now licking its own blood and it's dying. And uh, the wolf ends up dying and the Eskimo captures it. And don't you know, that's just like you, it's just like me when it comes to temptation. Uh, that's what Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, how the children of Israel, they struggled and they would find themselves, um, they're saved, uh, they've been rescued from the bondage of Egypt, but they weren't believing God, they weren't doing the things that God told them to do, and because of that, um, they would fall into different temptations, whether it be complaining, uh, sexual morality we saw, um, lust, not just uh, sexual lust, but um, not uh, lust being any, you know, wanting something that uh, is not God's will for us. Uh, they weren't satisfied with the manna, they wanted meat, and um, you know, wherever you're at today, what are you struggling with? You know, what's the temptation? Maybe you've even begun to think that God can't get you freedom from it. Um, the God of the Bible, He saved you. Um, he's already defeated the, the larger enemies in your life. And he loves you so much. And uh, uh, this upcoming Sunday, we're going to look at 1 Corinthians. We're going to finish chapter 10. We're going to see how Paul tells us, inspired by the Spirit, no temptation has overtaken you except such as common to man and that God is faithful. Um, you can trust the Lord. He's faithful. Uh, God is not going to leave you. The children of Israel, they blundered. They struggled. They fell into sin. But for 40 years, God's presence never left them. And uh, God is not going to leave you. He loves you very much. So be encouraged today. Uh, and remember, uh, it's not by might. It's, it's not by power. But it's by God's Spirit. Ask the Lord to fill you afresh with His Spirit today. And uh, may the Lord richly bless you as He so desires to.